Welcome back to the channel, Mary at First Sight fans. And in this fourth video of today's um, recap that I'm doing with the journey of each of the couples from Mary at First Sight, this particular couple, of course, is Henry and Christina. And boy, do we have a season with them. But before we get into this video, if you are new here, smash the subscribe button to continue to get quality content regarding all of our dating and reality romance um, recaps. Um, if you like the video, smash the like button. And then too, if you want to engage with me in the comments, feel free to drop a comment. I'd love to do that and get a chance to talk to you guys. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. So, um, the first thing I want to start out by talking about with uh, Henry and Christina is I remember the matchmaking video where the experts sat down and went over all of the couples and Pastor Cal, and I remember this vividly, was one of the main ones that said this particular couple should not, should not be an item because they both have very passive personalities. They are not assertive. They want the, uh, another person to kind of take the lead and, and either inspire, inspire them or whatever it is, but it's just not a good fit. And Dr. Pepper pushed the issue. And of course, the rest is history. What I will say is I absolutely love that wedding dress that um, Christina had on. I mean, her dress was absolutely gorgeous on her. But... She was kind of bridezilla in the beginning. I don't know if you guys remember how she was talking to her bridesmaids. And I haven't seen them since. I mean, honestly, you know, we've seen, you know, the other couples bring those same people on from, you know, when they need them to come. I haven't seen them since. So I'm wondering if she burned some bridges. He is a health administrator for hospitals. She was or is a um, person that worked for the airlines as a, um, I think an airline stewardess. But they started off having issues because of the fact that Henry is, he was just so timid and was not assertive in talking of having conversation with her at all I mean she had to drag it out of him do you like me do you find me attractive what do you think we now married and he was like yeah mm -hmm. oh yeah I, I find you kind of you know I find you attractive and I mean it was like pulling teeth with Henry and granted I know he you know his father is an interesting individual because we saw that he was really saying that you know anybody to deal with him have to dig deep when it comes to Henry, because he's just, um, he's just not, he's an introvert. Yeah, he's an introvert. And so, I mean, that's hard for a person like Christina who looks for affirmation from someone else. So if she's pulling for that and she can't even engage him in conversation. Eh. Now, I don't want to weigh this all on to Henry because Christina got her issues too. Like I said, she was kind of like a bridezilla in the beginning. Um, some of the things that she was saying because of his lack of confidence, she really threw a lot of digs at this guy. And even if he was going to make an attempt to open up, every time she say something, it takes him three steps backwards because of what she say to him. I mean, it got to the point where, I mean, first, we, we can't ignore the fact that she couldn't stand production. Like I said, between him, I mean, between Christina, Brett, and Brandon from season 10, and even AJ. I mean, he's doing a lot better with it now on Couples Couch, but they didn't like production. And she was like, look, give me a list of something to talk about. This guy, he's not talking. He walks off. It was just a match not made in heaven for these two. I, and all I can think of every time I cringe with watching both Henry and Christina is what, that, what, is what uh, Pastor Cal said. No, no, no. They're two passive individuals. They need people who's going to bring them out of their shells. They're going to wait. They're not going to be assertive. 
And this is the end result. And I'm wondering, did they push this issue just to have some drama on TV with this couple because they knew it would be coming? I don't know. So then we had the issue come out with, um, you know, Christina admitting that she has ADD and that she had been off her her meds for about a month and a half. And that kind of softened Henry to her because for a minute he looked like he would be able to help her you know, and work through it and don't be ashamed of stuff, you know, and then he turned around and admitted how he felt about his childhood. And she was like, uh, dude, you need to get over it. That's been 20 years ago. Don't you just think you need to get over it? And he was like, well, wait a minute. It's okay for me to support you, but you can't support me and what I feel. That was just, uh, uh, Christina, really? Then, you know, the whole thing about, um, you know, the emotional stuff, Kristen, his friend, which there is a slide with her coming up later, but I mean, his friend, Kristen was not about Christina at all. Even from the wedding itself, she was like, I'll never respect her, his marriage. Forget that. Uh, no. Mm-mm. And she has just been not a no-go it's been a no-go for Kristen ever since and I'm wondering now granted you know they had him and Kristen had a dating relationship but obviously you know it didn't work out with him and Kristen but she still remained to be one of his good friends which was the whole thing about him helping her through a rough time in her life and she told that story to Christina as well And Christina was like, oh, my God, I get to see another side of him. And, you know, maybe and I think that's what led into the her releasing and being vulnerable about her ADD. A lot of people thought she was lying. We'll never know. As I said in my previous episodes, I'm not going to judge that if she has whatever she has. Truth or not, she's going to have to deal with that. Okay, so karma is what it is if it's a lie. But she did admit later in the season that she sometimes can be a flamboyant liar. So who knows? You know, that came out of her own mouth. But, I mean, she has been nitpicking him most of the season, talking about his lack of confidence. She's passive aggressive, throwing digs at him. And then there's this whole thing about her not having a place to stay because when they went to each other's houses, She's like, oh, I just got my stuff thrown in the car. A lot of my stuff is in California. And she originally told Henry that she lived in the central business district. So which is it? Do you live there? Do your mom live there? Are you living with friends? Are you, I would hate the whole, you know, I mean, as much as a lot of people can't stand her personality, I hope she's not homeless. Nobody deserves to be homeless. Homelessness is a big problem in this country. But, you know, hopefully she does have some place to stay. We just don't know where it is. But when, you know, he called her out to the experts and called her out on that whole thing, it spiraled out of control for the last three episodes. I think from episode 13 up to where we are now, just having episode 15, it spun into this whole web of deceit Because he already called that deception in itself about her having a place to stay. And then they're locked into this quarantine. They move to separate rooms. And then she goes, sneaks out till three in the morning. He doesn't know where she is. He goes and stay gone at the grocery store. They're just like two ships passing in the night. It's just that bad. But they got to stick out the experiment because, you know, they got a contract. However, you know, of course, we see Kristen again um later in the season and she was like oh yeah she told production yeah she's a liar yes she is you know and as much as henry couldn't stand brett i mean it's interesting that brett had also interaction with Kristen. Kristen is like uh yeah he's trash too but we won't even go down that road but yeah Kristen picked up on the fact that you know she's just not being genuine you know the passive aggressiveness And then to make matters worse, season uh, 11, episode 14 and 15 brought on, of course, her because she's feeling back in the corner about being put on this whole thing about being homeless, says that she got some mystery text message saying that 
you know, he's sleeping or having an affair with another man. And he's like, uh, no, I'm not gay. I wouldn't come on a show trying to be with a woman if I was undercover. Look, listen, Henry, whatever your preferences is, it's up to you, you know. But for her to use that as a form of blackmail, because she's basically saying, if you continue, I'm going to hold this over your head if you continue to talk bad about me. And I'm like, oh, my God, who wants to live like that? You know, and honestly, they shouldn't have even went on the retreat together. But again, they're in a contract. So, you know, it's it's so unfortunate that, you know, Henry had to go through this. And let's talk about that retreat. I mean, she cried every drop of a hat. She told Amelia and um, Amani, you know, that sometimes she can be a flamboyant liar and that she stretched the truth. You know, Henry had the conversation with Woody about that, and Woody was like, uh, that, would, that couldn't have been me. But he's not as vocal about it, and I think he's just trying to get through this process and get out the door. His, he know his answer, and that's the crazy thing, because we saw in episode 15 that she said, you know what, I see him in a different light, and... You know, she was talking to her friend who really didn't give her any advice, Mr. Andrew, because Andrew was in an earlier episode. A lot of people thought he was just a prop because he seemed like he didn't know what Christina was talking about. But yeah, I mean, you know, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, a, I'm smart and all of those things. And yeah, you can feel those ways about yourself, but that doesn't mean that Henry see you that way and you can't force him to. And your behavior and your passive aggressiveness and your lying and your blackmail, that's definitely going to put you in a bad light, Christina. And it's just not, a, it's just bad. I mean, it's toxic. And then you say you got all these other guys who always, you know, they would jump me and get in the bed with me instantaneously. Yeah, but obviously they weren't on anything because you're not with them now. You know, and then these tears, I don't know if they're real, if they're fake, only she knows. So, hey, it is what it is, but he gives her a compliment, she cries. And it was so funny that Henry said, it seems like we in two different realities, because all he did was compliment her writing on the whole thing with um, the retreat that she said about her younger self. And she's just like, she never got a compliment in the world or he told her that he fell in love with her and he'll never leave her. And she went on this melodramatic, you know, emotional roller coaster. I don't know. It's all crazy. At decision day, I know vehemently that Henry is going to give an emphatic N-O, no. I don't know about Christina. Because Christina in this last episode, kind of like a day late and a dollar short, was kind of opening her eyes to say, hmm. Maybe we can work on things. Because she even asked him to go to counseling. And he was like, he could have had to keep himself from laughing. He was like, ain't nobody going to counseling with you. I'm done. I'm done. I just want to finish this process. Say that I want to get a divorce. And he going to put her on blast from the previews, it looks like, about the whole blackmail hole in this text message, which she has never produced. So we don't even know if it exists. We'll definitely see what the fallout is from the whole text message conversation when Henry presents that to the expert. So they should have never been together. I hope they both say no. He goes on with her life, his life. She goes on with her life and they live happily ever after separately. So, all right, that's the end of the seasonal recap with these two, uh, Henry and Christina. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, if you're new here, subscribe to get quality content and stay tuned for our last video with Karen and Miles.